Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and I'm sitting out here in my front yard getting ready to watch the Great Solar Eclipse of 2017. And what I thought I'd do today for all of you guys is show you what it looks like outside during an eclipse if you're not able to watch it. Now, I'm not in the path of totality here. I'm in 90% totality where I live. However, it should still be an interesting spectacle. So without further ado, let's get started and let's wait for this awesome eclipse. All right, guys, well, the eclipse is finally starting. Let's go see what it looks like outside. As you guys can see, there's still plenty of sunlight. The sun is now just starting to get covered and obstructed by the moon. I live where it's going to be 90% totality. So we're going to keep an eye on this and we're going to see how this develops and what the outdoors actually looks like during a solar eclipse. Right there in my yard, I set up a reflective black trash can lid. And the reason I did that is so that way I can actually view the solar eclipse somewhat safely. I've got several pairs of non-eclipse glasses that allow me to look at this trash can lid and see the sun being obstructed. We do have a lot of cloud cover here today and I hope it doesn't fully obstruct the entire event for me or for all of us, but we will see. We're gonna keep on filming on and off throughout the day and show you guys what this looks like outside during a partial solar eclipse. Hopefully I can get a view of the sun on the trash can as well so you guys can see just what I get to see whenever I'm looking at this trash can. Okay, we are right now at about 85% totality where I'm at. It's almost to 90% here. And there's not a cloud obstructing the sun right now, which is really awesome because I never could film outdoors like this in full sunlight with my camera the way it is now. The reason is it was so bright, everything looked just white and glowy. It obstructed everything because of the light. But now since 85 or so percent of the sun's light is now blocked, as you can see, it looks cloudy. This is what it looks like outside during an eclipse. It looks cloudy. Now there are clouds in the sky, but right now the sun is not obstructed, which is really, really cool. It's going to be obstructed here by clouds in a few more minutes, maybe anywhere from two to three minutes. Okay, we are getting close to 90% totality. And again, you can see how much darker it is outside right now. There is some obstruction with clouds over the sun. However, it's still a lot darker than it normally would be. It is so cool outside. The temperature is now starting to drop. You can look around at the plants. If we look back over there, it's really bright, I know, because I don't have a good filter for my camera. However, instead of that being grayish white like it is now, if it was full sunlight, you wouldn't be able to see even that shed over there. So that gives you guys an idea of how dark it can actually make things. I can feel the temperature dropping rapidly right now. This is so awesome. So awesome. This is an extremely powerful event and it just goes to show the power of the universe. All great power moves in a circle and so does our sun and so does our moon. I tried getting this on uh, camera through all these glasses on this trash can lid, but it just doesn't pick it up right. It's displaying the sun right now as a circle, and it totally is not. So I apologize for not being able to show you guys what it looks like on this trash can lid. But essentially right now, the sun looks like what the moon looks like whenever it looks like a little thumbnail. <clears throat> it's extremely cool to see. I've never seen this before in my entire life. And I hope some of you guys are able to view this in its totality. And if not, I hope you guys are able to see some of NASA's live streams of the event. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the solar eclipse of 2017. This is extremely awesome. Okay, so let's walk around and take a look at some plants, shall we? What are the plants look like during an eclipse? We'll see. Let's find this out. Right here we have some great blue lobelia next to some ragweed that I need to pull. We've got even more of the great blue lobelia right there got a blue lettuce plant or a wild lettuce plant growing in right there. This is so cool. This is exactly what it looks like outside. You can see the sky looks gray. There are a lot of clouds. But you guys might be able to see the silhouette of this cloud on the left hand side by this tree. Right there in the center of the frame where my finger is, is actually blue sky. I promise you it is blue. 
but that's just because the sun's light is being obscured that it looks gray. This is totally awesome. All right, we have reached full 90% totality where I'm going to be. This is extremely awesome, extremely awesome. Just a little bitty sliver of the sun is left visible. Whenever you look up at the sun, make sure you do it with special glasses, otherwise you can really damage your eyes. If we look off into the wood line there, we can see that it's really dark. It almost looks like it's getting ready to be nighttime. It's about 2, 2.15 right now where I'm at. So it's not even close to nighttime. This is how dark it can actually be just with 90% of the sun's rays being obstructed. If you live in the totality area, like I said, it's going to be completely black. Outside, it's going to look like night. Some stars will be visible for those people that are in the totality area. So you guys get treated to a real spectacle. Now another couple interesting things that I've noticed during this eclipse, almost all animals have stopped. I can hear some insects and I can hear just a couple species of birds. But other than that, all animals have pretty much stopped. Wind has stopped. Everything has basically stopped right now. This is so interesting. It almost has this kind of creepy horror movie vibe to it being outside right now with that gray look everywhere with that sun being obscured. As you guys can see over there, you can actually see clouds. This is the very first time I've ever been able to film clouds with this camera. Here you can actually see an accurate representation of my skin complexion. In most of my videos, there isn't even an accurate representation of my skin color because it's so bright usually outside for this camera. So this is really awesome and it's like the perfect diffusion for filming a video in the brightest of locations. All right, here's the ironweed that I filmed in my most recent video, three more obscured plants you guys might see while foraging wild edibles. And you can see an accurate representation of my skin tone and you can see the plant very well. I haven't, I haven't done anything with the f-stop. The ISO is still at 100. So this is really awesome because I usually had to wait until five or six to film that part of that video because it was just so bright out here. There you guys can see the flower of this Canadian thistle that we have growing here. Right there you guys can see some jewel weed. It's dying off because of the lack of rain that we've had here. All right, so let's do something different. We're going back into the woods here. I apologize for the darkness, but that's just because of the eclipse. But this way you guys can see what it looks like in some different environments during an eclipse. We're still at about 90% totality and there's a huge cobweb I just walked right into. Get myself a stick here because the spider webs are horrendous in the woods this time of year. As you guys might be able to tell, it's really hard to even see anything just because of how dark it can be. So this gives you guys an idea of what it looks like in the woods during an eclipse. So let me turn the ISO up on my camera real quick so you guys can see just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. I turned the ISO up to 200. Now you guys can see just a little bit more. So let's see what happens when I turn it up to 300, shall we? My bad, I meant 400. ISO doubles with each, each press. Okay, so I had to put the ISO up to 400 just so we can see somewhat normally in the woods here. If we look down at the forest floor, you can see how dark it is. You guys might not even be able to make out the Canadian Santicle that's right there in the center of the frame. All right, now here is my yard with the ISO at 400 like it was whenever we were in the woods, just over there. And now you guys can see how much brighter it is. And there's my skin, it looks just glowing, glowing white. So let's bring the ISO back down to 100. Okay, here we are at ISO 100. And you can see, you can see a more accurate representation of my skin tone. And it doesn't look so glowy outside. Well guys, that is the great solar eclipse of 2017. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed what it looks like being outside during a solar eclipse. I've never viewed one myself, and I'm sure many of you probably haven't either. If you have, you're extremely lucky, just like you're really lucky if you live in the totality area. I thank all of you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.